Hi everyone, I'm Mary with Mary Greeley News. Thank you for joining me. There was a magnitude 6.4 earthquake, according to USGS near Vanuatu. Um, it actually probably was a magnitude 6.5. This earthquake was very deep and did not create a tsunami. This earthquake was 174.8 kilometers in depth or so that would be about 108 miles below sea level. Before that earthquake, there was a magnitude 4.6. It too was even deeper, 633.4 kilometers, which would be about 394 miles deep. And then before that, there was a 4.6. It too was very deep. Let me show you where that one was at. I'll pull this over, over by Fiji. That was 559.4 kilometers, and that would be about 374 miles below sea level. You know, until recently, scientists did not believe that earthquakes could occur at such depth. These deep earthquakes are caused by the ocean, ocean's crust, subsiding underneath continents, and in this case, the continent of Australia. The ocean's crust is thinner, but heavier than the continent. Continent plates are much thicker, but lighter. Typically, the crust of the Earth dipping, subsiding into the mantle of the Earth under the continents occurs at an angle between 40 and 60 degrees. Scientists recently named these areas where the subduction is happening so deep as Wadadi Benioff zones. The Japanese uh, seismologists who made the prediction in 1949 about this zone of subduction, it has only been recently accepted by the scientific community. In fact, only until recently did scientists understand that the continents we're constantly moving, actually moving. The deepest area of subduction is along the coast of Japan. There, um, the subduction occurs at about 700 kilometers below sea level. So that would be about 430 miles. Sure seems like there has been a lot of very deep earthquakes of late. And within the last year, it seems like these deep earthquakes have increased greatly. One has to wonder, there was a report, I believe it was last year or the year before, where they showed evidence of the Earth's uh, mantle heating up, uh, and of course, then the crust of the Earth uh, being affected by that heating of the Earth's mantle. Back in 2011, it was reported that the initial belief that the inner core was cooling down, they found out is not true. And they believe it's kind of like a lava lamp type effect. The circulating of um, that melted magma. The article goes on to state that, for instance, when it comes to large regions under the African plate and the Pacific, where the lower most mantle is hotter than average, the outer core below those areas can become hot enough to start melting the inner core. On the other hand, beneath the seismically active regions around the so-called ring of fire, a zone encircling the Pacific high in volcanic and earthquake activity, the cold remnants of the oceanic plates sucked down to the bottom of the mantle are drawing a lot of heat from the core, helping it freeze. These findings suggest that the whole dynamics of the Earth core are in some way linked to plate tectonics, which isn't at all obvious from the surface observations. They have an image here on Wikipedia. It kind of reminds me of that movie 2012, whereas the regions of the Earth um, started to heat up from the inside out, the continents moved. And we know this happened. Um, the last time when the Earth's magnetic field did its um, flip. You know, and there's been a lot of talk of late 
about how the uh, Mayan calendar, you know, when the world was supposed to end in 2012, wasn't actually 2012, but uh, 2020. And with all the things that have been happening lately, yeah, you really have to wonder. But that's all I have for you right now. What are your thoughts? Put your comments down below. Thank you for subscribing. Please stay safe, and I'll talk to you later. God bless you. Bye.